The Nuremberg trials served as one of the closing chapters of World War II. A number of high-ranking Nazi officials went before a military tribunal in what became the first major trial to prosecute crimes against humanity. The American government filmed the trial and produced the documentary Nuremberg, its lesson for today. This film was seen widely in post-war Germany, but never in the United States until now. Nuremberg has been restored and made its U.S. premiere last night at the New York Film Festival. And we are joined now by Sandra Schulberg. She led the restoration effort, but that is not all. Her father was the original director. And Sandra, of course, uh, we want to thank you for being with us to talk about this film, which opens actually today in theaters across the nation. Um, and there's quite a story behind the story, if you will. First of all, why wasn't this film ever shown in the U.S.? Well, we're still trying to unravel the whole mystery, but we know that it was a very controversial decision that was made by the U.S. government in 1949. We know it was controversial because uh, the Daily Mirror and the Washington Post reported on this and tried to get the Army to go on record at the time about why they were sitting on the film. And, you know, the reasons are a little murky, but it appears that people were at the, at the government level were worried that Americans might turn again against Germany uh, if they saw the film. And Germany was, rebuilding Germany was an important part of launching the Marshall Plan. So that was one reason. Another reason is that during the trial, the U.S. government was allied with the Soviet Union. The, the trial was prosecuted jointly by the Americans, the Soviets, the French, and the British. And this was the beginning of the Cold War, and the beginning of the Red Scare, and anti-communist feeling was running pretty strong, and that was another reason. Here's what I find very interesting about this. Your father was also involved in finding that Nazi film footage that was used as evidence in the trial. How did he go about finding that? Well, there was a small OSS team that was actually headed by the famous Hollywood director John Ford. Uh, that was sent to Germany in June of 1945 because Justice Jackson, who was a sitting Supreme Court Justice and was the chief American prosecutor at the trial, had decided that he was going to tr partly try the case using the Nazis' own films because it was known that they had shot a lot of film during the war. And so my father and my uncle Bud Schulberg and later a small team of editors were sent over to try to hunt for this footage all over Germany. And in some cases they found uh, incidences of sabotage, they found fields of film cans still burning. In some cases they pulled images from the burning film and so used them. they were them. trying to hide the evidence. They were trying to destroy some of the evidence. Eventually they found enough to put together a four and a half hour film that was shown in the courtroom called The Nazi Plan. And they also put together a one-hour film called Nazi Concentration Camps. And, and you see excerpts from both of these films in Nuremberg, It's Lesson for Today, which is a film about the trial. You mentioned your uncle. Uh, that's very important, too, to this whole story, because he helped apprehend the, uh, the Nazi filmmaker, Leni Riefenstahl, who was actually a witness at the trial. Uh, how significant was that? Well, she was actually arrested uh, not as a witness uh, to speak at the trial. She was arrested as a material witness. She was arrested as someone who could essentially uh, be used as an, in, as an informant who, who they had sitting in the editing room with them to help them pick out the faces of different uh, Nazis who were seen in her footage and in other uh, German footage because they wanted to make sure that they were choosing footage that could be used to help incriminate the Nazis that were on trial. So they had to be very careful about what footage they use and try to find the defendants who were in the courtroom in the films. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the principal figures in the trial, they were either arrested, executed, sent to prison. Do you feel that justice was truly served in this instance? I actually do. I've been, re you know, I'm not an expert on the, on the trial. I'm, I've become something of an expert on the film about the trial, but along the way I've learned a lot about the trial. And I think what is fascinating and that most people today don't realize is that uh, the Nazi criminals were provided with top quality German lawyers of their own choosing. They were allowed to present a huge amount of evidence on their own behalf. Three of them were actually acquitted by the international judges. And the 
convictions of the others were, which ranged from death by hanging to various prison sentences, I think were very carefully arrived at. So I, I think the Nuremberg trial and the Nuremberg principles that came out of the trial are exceedingly important today. And they have laid the groundwork for all of the subsequent trials for crimes against humanity that we that we have uh, unfortunately had to prosecute in the last 20 years for, wanna, for genocides in other parts of the world. Yeah, I want to touch on that for just a moment because the name of the movie is Nuremberg. It's lesson for today. What lessons would you say that you've taken away from this or that we can take away from this? Well, I think that this subtitle, It's Lesson for Today, is, is so telling and so prescient. Um, because I would like to see the film used as a way for Americans to learn more about what happened at Nuremberg and to understand what the legacy of Nuremberg was, to understand that we now have a permanent international criminal court, which the United States is not a party to, but which 113 other countries are members of, and that this court has been set up in The Hague to prosecute crimes against humanity wherever they may occur around the world today. Well, Sandra Schulberg, we do thank you for your time today. Uh, it's fascinating and we do appreciate the restoration so the rest of us can take a look at the movie as well. So do appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Sure. And Nuremberg, it's lesson for today, premiered last night at the New York Film Festival.